Mr. Bigley. Hey there, guys and gals, it's Gerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbigly. Um, now that I've beaten the game Little Inferno, I decided to start yet another indie game. I know it's something that's a problem with me. I will beat a game and I'll start eight more at the same time. But anyway, so this game, Fez, was actually, some of you might remember it from my straw poll. I know it didn't finish near the top, but I've been so interested in playing it. I've heard so many great things about this game. So I'm starting it up because it just sounds fun. It looks great. It's gotten great reviews. Uh, so anyway, so Fez, uh, I'm using my controller for it. I figure since it's a platformer, it's a little indie platformer that, uh, yeah, it's gotten just a ton of buzz. So let's go ahead and use the controller because it will make it easier. And we can go, woo, Fez time. Now this first slot, it has 0% uh, completed. I just had to do a quick sound test before I started recording. So let's go ahead and get started here. So... Let's uh, choose this and we'll click start a new game. All your prior game progress will be lost. That's fine. I just listened to the intro. So this is Fez. It is a story apparently about a 2D being who li believes he lives in a 2D world until he finds some mysterious mysteriousness that allows him to warp dimensions and sort of go into like a 3D world. So there, there's our little guy. Um, this guy's name is Gomez, apparently. So um, this is our room. We've got a sweet drum set. It's cool um, and that's so cool that's so cool so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go outside and that's just gorgeous sprite work it's already just a beautiful game uh, I really hope that you guys enjoy this one uh, as many of you know I I just I love little indie gems like this it's something that you know I don't have to play a bunch of triple-a games on my channel I do everything. I play AAA games. I also play indie games. I mostly play indie games just because I support them so much and I love them. So this is this is a sweet mechanic. I can look around. Uh, my objective right now is walk to the mailbox. And so I can use the D-pad or I can use my analog stick to walk around. Uh, pretty standard controls for jumping and I can interact with these people. This little girl is like, I could run around all day. In fact, I will. Okay, that sounds like an awesome life. I wish I had that one. Gomez! Gomez! Hi, Gomez! Uh, hi, little boy. So it's cool because you can uh, you can cling on to edges. Yeah, get out of here, seagull. Nobody likes you. Um, Gomez's house. What is this thing right here? So I can interact. Um, press X to read mail. Dear Gomez, please meet me at Top of Village. I have something very important to tell you. Today is special day. Geezer. <laughs> Geezer is his name. That's awesome. Uh, RS to look around. Press it to snap back. B to talk to villagers. What's your favorite shape? I'm a nerdy guy. Mine is square, not cube, that's for sure, because there's no such thing. <laughs> that's awesome. So they don't know, the guy, the villagers don't realize that there is more out there. Um, oh, cool. So I'm going to go in someone else's house. Like, it's possible in so many games, and nobody's, like, weirded out by it ever. Look at that dapper gentleman. I like that I can climb up on ledges by just doing that. <laughs> this, this guy with the monocle in the middle is awesome. Yeah, rules. All right. Um, love the animation when he enters and exits doors. That's cool. All right. So I, I thought it would be good because I don't have like a lot of adventure games on the channel. This is uh, locked doors require key to open them. Well, I figure. What is this? Climb vines. Oh, cool. I'm climbing a vine. Um, I don't have a lot of adventure games. I have some. I obviously have played a bunch of platformers, but most of them don't have a storyline. So this is like really cool to have one. I love village. I live here my whole life. Cool. You also speak all crazy talk like... Who's this? Reality is perception. Perception is subjective. Here. Okay. Um, let's go into this person's house. Why the hell not? Because... Oh, wow. It's Is this a day and night cycle in this game? That's awesome. <laughs> I'm in someone's house. I'm out of your bed. <laughs> okay. Can I read these notes? I noticed also... Uh, Last time I was playing Super Meat Boy, that you can kind of hear the clicking of this remote. I'm sorry if that's really distracting, but it's uh, you know it's kind of unavoidable. This is a loud, loud piece of awesome equipment. So let's climb these vines. Oh, cute little kitty is playing with a butterfly. That's so cute. That's adorable. All right, we're gonna visit everyone's house because that's what you have to do in video games. We're gonna just walk around and, and poke around people's personal property. This girl seems kind of confused that I'm in here. What's up? They're visiting as devil squares, only regular squares. Well, what's it? What the hell's a devil square? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, look at it. It is awesome. There's the day and night cycle. Hey, look at that constellation in the background. It looks like a 
dong. Or Tetris block. Let's go. It's a Tetris block. Hey, Monocle Man. You are looking nice and flat today. Why, thank you, Monocle Guy. I pride myself on that. I <laughs> love being flat. It's so cool to be so 2D. Nothing could ever change my lifestyle. I'll never be not 2D. Ha ha. <laughs> All right. So, um, let's go. Let's get to the top here. Where's important geezer? Where's geezer at? He was. He used to be up here. Ha! There you are. Today is special day. Adventure is ready. It's Gomez time. Adventure Gomez time. Anytime now, just you are. Ah, there you go. Oh gosh, what is happening? Crazy ex. <gasps> is that a 3D shape? Whoa! Man, oh. That's cool. I hope you guys can hear all the sound effects as well. Um, they're pretty ambient here in the beginning. It's not too loud. Oh gosh, this is kind of loud. Ah, it's loud! Oh! Ah! Wow, that was, that was insane. Maybe I should have read that mailbox first. Whoa, it is 3D. That looks great. That looks beautiful. Uh-oh. Okay, alien. Talkiness. Okay, sure, sure. This looks like an, a, a freaking remote control. Those those text boxes that came up. Oh, no. Alien has me. How did the geezer know that this was going to happen? And, and why did he let this happen? Oh, my. Whoa! Spinning! Wow, this gets loud. I hope that you guys can hear everything. Okay, cool, dude. Creepy voice thing. Do I have the power of 3D? Does it give me the Fez hat? It's gonna give me the Fez hat, isn't it? Oh, it does. That's so awesome. It's a 3D magical Fez hat that lets me see in 3D! Oh, that's awesome. So much better than theater glasses. <laughs> this is cool so far. I like this. Oh, man. <gasps> this tiny hat imbues me with power. Whoa, you have a rave coming out of your skull. <laughs> He's so happy. That's so cute. All right. Oh, my gosh. I can change everything with this. Oh, God. Oh, don't explode me, my bro, bro. Everything is glitchy and crazy looking. Uh oh. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh no. The game's so broken. I I hope this is supposed to happen. I feel like it is. Please. Oh no. Poly. <laughs> oh, it's like a reboot screen on like an old. Oh. This is the intro screen again. This is very weird. Is that supposed to make me feel like it broke? Because it makes me feel like it broke. Oh. Uh oh. This is weird. This is like screwing with my perception a little bit because it's all like glitchy and insane and that's a cool, that is a cool badass intro. That is a super badass intro. Oh man, I'm waking up again. Oh, I can rotate my room. Everything's so different now. Oh man, that's so cool. Whoa! Whoa! This is nuts! This is beautiful! Oh, man. God, the artwork in this is just great. I love it already. The presentation style of this game is phenomenal. I cannot wait to get deeper into this adventure. Gomez, something went wrong. I need your help. I was sent to guide you. I am Dot. The Hexahedron has been fragmented shattered and scattered all over the world. You must restore it. Without it, everything will collapse. You have received a gift. A great secret has been revealed to you. There's a world beyond your village and dimensions beyond the ones you occupy. Whoa! This door leads to the outside world, but for now it is sealed shut. The marking on it indicates that it won't open until you have collected at least one cube. There are many such doors in the world. I have the burpees. Sorry. <laughs> each requiring more cubes than the last. To reach the end of this journey, you will need to find all 32 cubes. But first, you must leave this place. Zupa, zupa, zupa. Yeah, sure, dude. There are eight cube bits in this village, like this one right here. Together, they form a full cube, which you can use to unseal the door. Find them. Okay, talking cubey doob thing. So quick recap. Shiny golden cubes, very important. Gotta find them all. 
or else the universe collapses with you in it. No pressure, and remember, use RT, LT to change your perspective. Now get going! Oh, that's so cool. That is groovy. I saw a devil square! Oh, I got one! Where did you go? Did you bring me something back? Oh, this is so crazy! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm behind y'all now. You saw a devil square. You guys aren't freaked out that I'm like, uh, you know, not near you? I'm in a different weird dimension world? This is so weird, but so awesome at the same time. I love this. There's one right there. Yeah, baby. Got number two already. Wait, what am I doing? Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Whose house is this? Was I Had I been able to get to this one before? I don't know. Hello. It's been so long, or it's been long time. It's your turn now. I'm tired. Plus, there's the eye thing. What? Oh, cool. He's, uh... I just realized he has a fez on his head, too. That is so cool, dude. So he knew all about what the hell was up, dog. He was all like, I am Grandpa Grandpa, but I know secrets of world traveling world time. There is a cube, but that's not possible. Okay. This is so weird. I feel like I'm going to fall any moment. You were gone. You were gone a long time. I was? I don't remember being gone a long time. I think you guys are just weirdos. Oh, God. Why am I stuck? I just want to get down. I want to go in this house. Let's go in this house. I bet there's cubes in some houses here. Okay, what? Yeah? Why, why is there a... Uh... Oh, crazy, dude. Oh, my God. This is amazing. A treasure chest. To open it, face it from the front and press X. Oh, my God. Oh, it's like Zelda! <laughs> oh my god, that's so awesome. So we got the key, so obviously we can go into that locked room now. You have found a key. Keys can open any locked door, but can only be used once. See, I love these little adventure games that, you know, there's a little bit of dialogue, and there's uh, there's some storyline to it, and oh man, it's so cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I, and there's some exploration. Oh my god, this whole game is going to be so badass. It's going to be so awesome. Everyone's going to love it. And by everyone, I mean me. And if you guys don't love it, I'm sorry ahead of time. But I already like this so much. This is so fun. All right. All right. Where's that locked door? Aha! Yes! Now we're going into the locked house. What's this, a map? Awesome! We got a map that's shiny. You have found a treasure map. A map of what to where? I don't know. Figure it out yourself. Oh, thank you. Mr. Helpful Guy? Whoa. What's up with that skull photo on the wall? What, what's up with that thing? Thing's creepy, my Jesus. Alright. Let's get the hell out of there. Ah, oh, cool. There's a doorway here on the side. God, see, this is so cool. It's a world beyond my eyes. And then you just rotate stuff to find out where the hell you are. Does, so it doesn't look like there's treasure out there. That's too bad. But that's okay, because we are awesome. We are doing awesome just by existing. This is so fun. I hope that you guys enjoy this, because I really do. Ooh, sweet! Yeah, baby! Another cubie cube. So many cubes. <laughs> People are putting so many pictures on their walls here. What's up with that? Oh, man. Is that another house? Did I, I, I don't think I visited that one. Ooh, there's a cube! Oh, man. This is so cool. What's this, a treasure chest? Huh! Did we get it? Oh, yeah. A treasure chest. To open it. Oh, yeah, I have to hit X to open it. Zelda time! Oh, my God, this is so awesome. We got a key. Another key. I didn't even know there was another locked door. Another locked room of doom. Okay. So is this the door? I, I think this is the door that I hadn't gone in before. Oh, seems to be, because there's a cube. How many cubes we got? We got five now? Sweet. Alright. So, is this another door that we didn't go in, or did we already go in this one? I don't think we went in this one either. Oh, yep, we totally didn't, because look, there's a cube up here. This is so awesome. Change in, this is, just playing with uh, something as simplistic as, you know, 3D environments, uh, something that you, like, really wouldn't think about, kind of, like, take it for granted in in newer games. Um, uh oh, I missed that jump. That was bad. It's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there because we got big old brains in our heads. 
Huh. All right, and now if we rotate, oh yeah, now we're right next to it. What? What's in this mailbox, by the way? Nothing. Okay. Okay, we need two more cubic cubes. Oh, one more cubic cube. Where's that last cubic cube? Is it in here? Did we already go in here. I don't know. Nope. Yes, last cube. We got a full cube now. Yeah, he's so happy when like good stuff happens. That's so awesome. Okay. Can you beat? A new direction! Whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, and then the, then the map is like... You did it! Now you can unseal the door. Let's go. Alright, so it looks like we can go down and unseal the door, guys. Uh, and we have a key, which is cool. Um, I think we're gonna... Wait! Ow! Did that kill me? Oh, gosh, the, the, the door opened. The door is unsealed. Are you ready to begin your adventure? Um, I will be. Just don't want to. Oh, I should probably use the vines so I don't freaking kill Gomez. <laughs> Sorry, Gomez. That was pretty rude of me. I apologize in advance for all of my evil doings. All right, guys. So we'll enter this door. Hey, listen. <laughs> I know this is your first time outside the village, so if you get lost, you can use the world map. Press back to bring up the world map. Awesome. So we can look at our world map. Oh, it's beautiful. I don't know what it means, but it looks cool. This is the world map. It shows you where you've been. You can zoom in and out using LB and... Oh! Oh, groovy. Okay, okay. I see how it is. And rotate. Oh, yeah, baby. Rotating. Each node represents a place in the world. But it's so... Yeah, it's so cool to be able to play around with a simple mechanic like rotating the board. It just... Oh, my God. Look at this. Ah. Oh. You, I'll never look at it the same way again. This is great. A gold plating on a node means you have found every item, secret, or passage in that node. Cool. All right. So um, our game is saved. I think I'm going to end the episode there, guys, just so that these don't go on too long. But this is a great game. This was an awesome start to the series. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support, especially standing behind me when I start these like just incredible indie series that are so emotional and so fun and just <laughs> he's sleeping that was awesome but just everything about them is delightful and interesting and you know so outside uh, other experiences that you get from triple a titles so i this is great thank you guys uh, i love every single one of you and as always it was great seeing you Bye bye It came up and it felt really weird. It was a strange sensation. But <laughs> that is something that's built into a lot of Japanese toilets, I guess. Um, because I was like talking to other people on my trip and I was like, hey, I just got squirted in sort of my Grundle area. And they were like, yeah, that's pretty normal. Um, you probably hit the bidet button accidentally. <laughs>